around these police deaths, right? Whether it be Eric Garner, Rakia Boyd, or uh, Tamir Green, Michael Brown. Well, what if we actually thought about this as a moment of retrenchment? Right? See, in the United States, we're ahistorical, right? So if I can watch a person being choked to death on TV, I understand that as an extension of the Dred Scott decision of 1859. Right? That the Supreme Court, at that time who had three slaveholders on it, said that there are no rights that black people have that whites are bound to respect. If you can be choked to death on television and not get an indictment when lawyers show each other that they indict ham sandwiches, then we have to ask a different question. And what does it mean that black death is normal, right, good, and understood? How do you communicate that to a young person who has already told you that anywhere between 10 to 60 times a week, they make a life and death decision? 